back! They're through! All right, Inquisitor. You have your way in. Best make use of it. We'll keep the main host of demons occupied for as long as we can. I'll be fine. Just keep the men safe. We'll do what we have to, Inquisitor. Warden Logan will guard your back. Hawk is with our soldiers on the battlements. She's assisting them until you arrive. There's too much resistance on the walls. Our men on the ladders can't get a foothold. If you can clear out the enemies on the battlements, we'll cover your advance. Wardens, we are betrayed by the very world we have sworn to protect. The Inquisition is inside, Clarel. We have no time to stand on ceremony. These men and women are giving their lives, Magister. That might mean little in Tavinta, but for the Wardens, it is a sacred duty. Are you ready, Jaina? I came to save people from the Blight! We must complete the ritual! Clarell, if you complete that ritual, you're doing exactly what Eremond wants. What? Fighting the Blight? Keeping the world safe from Darkspawn? Who wouldn't want that? And yes, the ritual requires blood sacrifice. Hate me for that if you must, but do not hate the Wardens for doing their duty! We make the sacrifices no one else will. Our warriors die proudly for a world that will never thank them. And then he takes your mages' minds for his real master, Corypheus. Corypheus? But he's dead. These people will say anything to shake your confidence, Clarell. Bring it through! Please. I've seen more than my share of blood magic. It is never worth the cost. I betrayed the Wardens once, and it cost me everything! Are you mad enough to think I'd do it again? Be ready with the ritual, Clarell. This demon is truly worthy of your strength. Listen to me! I have no quarrel with the Wardens. I have spared those I could. I don't want to kill you, but you're being used. And some of you know it, don't you? The mages who've done the ritual? They're not right. They were my friends, but now they're like puppets on a string. You cannot let fear sway your mind, Warden Chernoff. He's not afraid. You are. You're afraid that you ordered all these brave men and women to die for nothing. One day, you may be asked to give your lives to stop a blight, but not today. Clarell, we have come so far. You're the only one who can do this. Perhaps we could test the truth of these charges to avoid more bloodshed. Or perhaps I should bring in a more reliable ally. My master thought you might come here, Inquisitor! He sent me this to welcome you!
destroyed the Grey Wardens. <laughs> you did that to yourself, you stupid bitch. All I did was dangle a little power before your eyes, and you could have wait to get your hands bloody. We were falling. If this is the afterlife, the Chantry owes me an apology. This looks nothing like the Maker's bosom. No. The Inquisitor opened another rift with the Mark. This is the Fade. The Fade looked much different the last time I was here. The first time I entered the Fade, it looked like a lovely castle filled with gold and silks. I met a marvelous desire demon, as I recall. We chatted and ate grapes before he attempted to possess me. Perhaps the difference is that we are here physically. This is no one's dream. The stories say you walked out of the Fade at Haven. Was it like this? I don't know. I still can't remember what happened the last time I did this. Well... Whatever happened at Haven, we can't assume we're safe now. That huge demon was right on the other side of that rift Aramond was using, and there could be others. Shitballs, fuck, shit, crap, fade, shit, ass, demons, crap! In the real world, the rift producing the demons was nearby in the main hall. Can we return to the world through that? Sounds like our best option. There. Let's go. Imagine it. To walk in the Fade and survive. There's no guarantee that we're going to survive this. you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. 
Most holy. Cassandra. Cassandra, you knew the Divine. Is this really her? I... I don't know. It is said the souls of the dead pass through the fate and sometimes linger, but... We know the spirits lie. Be wary, Inquisitor. That can't be the Divine. It's most likely a demon. You think my survival impossible. Yet, here you stand alive, in the Fade, yourselves. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Really? How hard is it to answer one question? I'm a human, and you are? I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. Did you take my memories? No. You lost them to the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. Then perhaps I owe this nightmare a visit. You will have your chance, brave Warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself, but the Nightmare serves willingly. For Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first Blight upon the world, was he not? Every child's cry as the Archdemon circles. Every Dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The Nightmare has fed well. Can you help us get out of the Fade? That is why I found you. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor. So Andraste didn't bestow her mark upon you, it came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. So this was what, an accident? A random ricochet in the middle of a fight? And if it was? If it was, then neither the Maker nor Andraste were in any way involved in this. I'm just... If you believe in the Maker, then you believe he made this world, and everything in it, including your accident. And if you do not, then nothing has changed. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. 
You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Is there a problem, Hawk? I wondered if you might be concerned about the Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. Corypheus had clearly taken the Wardens' minds. You yourself have seen them do this. In any case, we can deal with that after we escape. Oh, I intend to. They thought it was Andraste sending me from the Fade, but it was the Divine behind me. And then you... She died. Yes. We've been following a demon, then. You don't say. I am sorry if I disappoint you. Are you a memory of the Divine? A reflection? If that is the story you wish to tell, it is not a bad one. What we do know is that the mortal Divine perished at the Temple, thanks to the Grey Wardens. Corypheus controlled them. We've discussed this already. This spirit has no further revelations. We should work on getting back to Adam and alive. Assuming that the Wardens and their demon army didn't destroy the Inquisition while we were gone. I see. Atrocities are your purview alone. You tore Kirkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion. To protect innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic. But you'd ignore that, because you can't imagine a world without the Wardens, even if that's what we need. The Wardens are a risk. Send them away before they cause even more trouble. It isn't like you can just get rid of them. I mean, it's never good when they show, but they're supposed to be heroes. They might still be useful. What if Corypheus conjures another blight? You never know. Sweet Maker, can both of you please shut up? We can argue once we've escaped from the giant fear demon. Inquisitor? <laughs> the Nightmare has found us. Form up! I'm with you. The rift. We're almost there. How about we all just shut up and run? If you would, please tell Liliana. I am sorry. I failed you too.
No, you were right. The warden's made this mistake. A warden must... A warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Hawk. Say goodbye to Varric for me. Without the Nightmare, Corypheus loses both his Warden Mages and his Demon Army. But in the eyes of your soldiers, their Inquisitor broke the spell with the power of the Maker. They need something to believe in. I suppose you're right. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clarell's tragic mistake. Where is the champion? Hawk is not with us. Hawk sacrificed her life to save us and strike a decisive blow against Corypheus. The champion is gone. She gave her life not because she'd sworn an oath or been marked as special, but because someone had to do it. Logan, you're the senior surviving Grey Warden. What do we do now? You stay and do whatever you can to help. Logan believes that the Wardens are worth saving. And I trust him. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. After all that, you give them yet another chance? While they do, I'll report to the Wardens at Weishaupt. Corypheus won't catch us off guard again. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. have the makings of a great army, Inquisitor. Use it well. Logan sent me one final report. He is on his way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Venatori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. We owe much of that to Hawk, and to the Divine. Yes. You took an army from Corypheus, but that will matter little if Orle falls into chaos. All arrangements have been made for the ball in Halam Shiral. Let us know when you are ready to proceed. Remind me what we know about the plot against Selene. The Venatori are planning some kind of attack on the Imperial Court. Corypheus may even be fueling the conflict between the Empress and her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard. If we warn Selene, she may prove a most valuable ally against Corypheus. I'll go as soon as I am able. Good. Cullen, Josephine and I will discuss the best way to gain an audience with the Empress. Speak with us when you are ready. What was she like? Divine Justinia, or her soul, or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but...
She seemed calm, serene even, and she guided us the whole way through. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry, I failed you too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. Did I ever tell you about the time Hawk was on a merchant guild hit list? <laughs> Hawk's uncle got into an investment scheme with a couple of merchant cast businessmen. They took a lot of people's coin in order to arrange the import of wandering hills from the Anderfells. A delicacy, I'm told. Their weird foreign foodstuffs arrived alive, and one of them, true to its name, wandered off in the middle of the night. The guild traced the shipments to Hawk's uncle, but as usual, he was so far in debt he couldn't see daylight. So they went after Hawk instead. They sent guys from the local Carter to Hawk's estate one night. Five big dusters, armed to the teeth. They kick in the door, and Hawk yells, You're just in time, and drags them over to a game of Wicked Grace. They played two hands of cards before the city guard showed up to take them away. A couple of them became regulars in our weekly game. Hawk oh, just had that effect on people. I... I always wanted to tell that one. Thanks. I guess I've got some letters to write. Isabella should know. Excuse me. Sorry, I really need to write some letters. Another time, all right? Sarah, about Adamant and what happened in the Fade. What was that about? What did I do? Shut up and listen, yeah? Never again, you hear me? Everyone is pretending it made sense. Demons and visions and all of it. The Fade isn't real. And I saw nothing. Nothing. They were like little empty things. Like there's nothing in the dark. No point. Stupid, right? That shouldn't be scary like, like it was. I'd have taken spiders. Like you. You're scared of spiders. All of them, even little ones. Pretty much scared of all spiders, yes. That's no good. I mean, they're everywhere. I bet even right here, just crawling with those legs and hairy eyes. That's probably not helping. It's stupid to think about anyway. Everybody going on about imaginary stuff when real people died. Probably. Hawk, yeah? Lost a champion. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But Wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerith, when the Blight ended. A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one Warden. There was a big fight and they died or... I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden. You forget the hero of Ferelden. That was ages ago. Ten years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine.
Let me guess, you're composing a love poem. I couldn't, not even if my life depended on it. It's not that hard. Yes, it is. Poetry takes finesse, it takes... grace. You don't think you have those things? Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. It must be recorded. Fair enough. Just be careful what you write. Do not be concerned. I am a poor writer, but not unaware of the weight my words might carry. I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the Divine. I saw her there, heard her voice, yet I cannot claim with certainty it was really her. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her, yet even so. I believe it was the Divine. She helped us one last time. I hope that's true. I want to believe it. When I realized we were physically in the Fade, I was terrified, almost beyond reason. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. <laughs> 